How BrainGate connected the first human to a computer. With daily developments in the world of computers and artificial intelligence, it is not uncommon to witness computers being smarter every day. Who knew computers would one day be so smart that they can reinterpret what a person thinks? Artificial intelligence has surpassed many of its former boundaries as BrainGate introduces the first computer chip that can wirelessly connect a human brain to a computer. While this technology existed before, the devices were wired and could only be used at a certain location under the supervision of experts. Wireless devices allow you to stay connected everywhere. While Wi-Fi allows people to stay wirelessly connected to the internet at all times, these wireless devices will help people with paralysis, loss of limb, or any other neurological or physical ailment that does not allow them to use any equipment physically. Through this chip, patients have been able to stay connected to a computer even when they were home. Experts could track their progress without going through the hassle of connecting various equipment and the need for constant expert supervision. What does the chip do? The chip allows a person with physical disabilities to speak whatever is on their mind without using their limbs for gestures or writing. Through the insertion of this chip in the brain's motor cortex, it can transmit signals wirelessly to a computer at a single neuron resolution and a full broadband fidelity. This tiny wireless device is about 5 cm wide, and the transmitter weighs around 40 grams. The device can change the future, especially for people who have any neurological disease, injury, loss of limb so that they can regain mobility through artificial intelligence and independence. BrainGate conducts the first test of wireless brain computer interface, BCIs. This phenomenon that seemed like a fictional utopia only to be seen in sci-fi movies is now a reality, and it has been tested to see if it works. Through an electrode array or chip implanted in the motor cortex of the brain, the chip can send data to a computer that can decode it and turn it into a set of instructions for the computer to follow, all happening at the thought of the human brain without having to raise even a finger, let alone a limb. Through the transmission of these signals wirelessly, patients are now able to write on a screen with their thoughts or even control a robotic prosthetic through their minds without any physical movement required. Out of all the magnificent things that the human brain could do, one of its biggest accomplishments is the invention of computers which in return has led to thousands of inventions to date that now helps humans assist their brains. As crazy as that sounds, this is the new world of technology that we live in now, and it is unusual, exciting, and full of surprises and may lead us to a new dimension altogether.